Hi, this is Todd, and today is Thursday, April 15th, 2010, Tax Day. And I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, two butterflies where the caterpillars are very similar, even though the adults are vastly different. Right here we have a fifth instar Wiedemeyer's Admiral caterpillar, Limonitis, Wiedemeyerite fascia, taken from the Stansbury Mountains here in Utah. And over here, it's feeding on willows. Um, this is a uh, globe willow that's growing in my backyard. And over here, we have a very similar caterpillar, uh, which is the Viceroy, Limonitis archippus lahontani, uh, taken from Corinne, Box Elder County, Utah, which is out in the flats uh, in northern Utah. Um, <clears throat> even though the adults of these two butterflies are very different, as you can see the fifth instar caterpillars are very similar. Um, the head on the Viceroy you see here, it's a little bit blurry, but I do have the macro on, is a little bit lighter on the Viceroy, and the coloration on the caterpillar has something of a greenish tint. I realize it's got variable colors, and it's, it has uh, thoracic horns and a saddle. Uh, we move back to the Wiedemeyer's Admiral caterpillar. Let's see if we can get this to focus with the macro on. The head's a little bit darker, thoracic horns are a little bit darker. I'm going to maneuver this around a little bit and see if we can get some resolution on this. But anyway, I just wanted to show the basic differences between uh, caterpillars are very similar. Both of these, uh, again, belong to the genus Limonitis. The Viceroy is the Batesian mimic of uh, the monarch, and so the adults look quite different. But the larvae and the life history and the strategies of raising um, both of these butterflies are quite similar. Thanks.